I love creating a true fantasy craft, something that really gets the mind of the player invested in that fantasy setting. That's something we're going to do this week on Tabletop Witchcraft. Hey there, and welcome back to Tabletop Witchcraft. This week, I want to do a true fantasy-inspired craft based on the new Ghostfire Games Kickstarter, Aurora Age of Desolation. Now, I love a true fantasy-inspired craft because we're not held to any laws of physics, what's real, what's not, anything goes. As an example, I used a petrified wood stump as the chimney to this building. Now, Aurora Age of Desolation kind of focuses on exploration as a means of survival. I talked about that in my last video, and it's really great because it opens up all kinds of crafting possibilities for us. There's five different realms in Aurora. Go check out their Kickstarter to see which ones they are, and if you can guess which one I based this build off of, I will email you a set of plans from this video directly to you. All you have to do is follow me on Instagram because that's where I'll announce the winner next week. Also, if you like candles, head on over to Firelight Fables Candles. TWC10 at checkout gets you 10% off your order. A small kickback comes to me and helps fund the channel. All right, if you're ready, let's go grab some supplies and let's get crafting. to mention about this part of the video is that you don't have to worry about lining up all these seams perfectly even the peak for the roof because we're going to cover it all in a homemade mud texture All right, now I am super excited to talk about this new product by ShiftingLands.com. It's their brick jig. And the cool thing about this is it gives you the individual brick look, but it allows you to place them down in strips, cutting down your crafting time considerably. You might have seen this jig in one of my recent videos, my tower video. I'll put a link up above to that where you can see it a little bit more in depth. But essentially, you're gonna take a piece of foam, place it into this jig, for anything with a radius, like a, a tube or a tower, you can cut very thin lines because they're gonna be separated when you bend them. But for a straight wall, all you have to do is turn up the heat on your proxon, and it's gonna exaggerate the space between the bricks, giving you more room to place something like patch and paint for a grout. All right, now this blade right here is by FlashMasterHobby.com. Go check them out. There'll be a link to their site in the description below. This blade is super flexible and super sharp. The cool thing about this is it allows you to get really cool detailed cuts in foam. So you can add lots of detail to stone, wood planks. You can even carve out statues with this thing. It allows a lot more I guess flexibility than your standard exacto knife. Again, flashmasterhobby.com. Check them out. Link down below. If 
you're enjoying this video and my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. Okay, I'll put a link up above to my fantasy tree video. It shows you exactly how to make this tree stump with the aluminum foil, so just follow along in that video. I'll also have links down below to all the Amazon items that I purchased that you see in this video if you want to pick any of those items up. All of these windows are from shiftinglands.com. Now the black behind where all these windows are going to be, I'm going to cut all of those out to allow space for our LEDs a little bit later on in the video, so cut those out. Okay now I showed you how to make this homemade mud texture in my catacomb series. I used a lot of it in my catacomb walls, it's the second video in that series. I'll put a link up above to that. Now, while we're waiting for this stuff to cure, why don't we take a look at this week's video sponsor, Ghostfire Games' new Kickstarter, Aurora, Age of Desolation. The tale of Aurora and the Five Realms is ancient. It began long ago when the dragons arrived from another world. But a great evil had followed them. Together, we stood against it, the dragons at our side. Yet evil does not release its grip so easily. And in our most desperate hour, a powerful being was set forth to turn the tide. Alas, our victory came at great cost. The world of Aurora broke into five realms, each its own plane. They became harsh places to survive, each realm with its own unique challenges. Exploring these hellscapes was pivotal to survival, though rarely an easy task. Then the dragons turned on Aurora, and our survival became harder still. The dragons changed and became savage. But we learned to adapt and overcome these challenges. The time is nigh. You are our final hope for survival. But first you must survive. Aurora. All right, while you were away, I took a little off-white paint, mixed it with some Mod Podge, and painted up all my bricks. Then added some dark gray and painted up the tree. Now, I wanted another layer of detail, and looking online, some of these trees had some bark that got petrified to them as well, 
So that's what I did here. I added that bark by using some mixed up green stuff and some of these clay sculpting tools. So just kind of scratch in some detail on top of that as well. Now, a lot of people wanted to see in my last video using the brick jig, a more detailed view of how I painted the bricks. So I'm gonna show it here. We already have our grout painted up with an off-white paint. Now we're gonna do a very heavy dry brush of a dark gray over all of that. You can see my brown palette on the right of a bunch of different brown paints that we're basically going to, I guess, wet blend into the gray. Now, once that's complete, we're gonna take a gray paint, a light gray, and dry brush that over everything to kind of bring it all together. Now, I can't stress this enough. When you grab your black wash to go over the stone, you just wanna pat the stone. You don't wanna do large brush strokes because that's gonna fill in all the grout lines and you don't want that. Take your time here, just basically patting again all the stonework and you'll be real happy with the final results. All right, now for these windows, I took a little bit of parchment paper and put those on the back. It's gonna help disperse the light over all these windows once we add our LEDs. So I want to just talk briefly about this Static King by Woodland Scenics. Look at how much static <laughs> there is to this thing. I was super impressed uh, with this. Uh, the last time I saw something like that, um, that much static in it, it was my son's hair when he wakes up in the morning. So yeah, this is a really cool product. I used the cheapos from Amazon for the longest time and I'm definitely happy I picked this up. Okay, now it's time to wire up some LEDs. And I'm using the Conway board by Terraintronics. I'll have a link in the description below. And I'll put a link up above to my easy LED wiring video. Make sure to check that out to show you how to wire this up. This board right here allows you to turn the brightness up and down on the LEDs. Really awesome. And you can see when I turn this on, that the way I bent the LEDs, it's gonna make it look like there's a light coming from down below, like we got a candle flickering on a table. I've got some LEDs up higher, like maybe there's a lantern on the wall. Uh, you know, just have fun with that. All right, now I'll also put a link up above to my smoke effect video. It'll talk all about this smoke machine and how to use it and all the attachments that you can pick up for it.
All right, so I used a bunch of fun products to make this video. And I'll have a direct link to all of them in the description below, as well as one to the new Ghostfire Games Kickstarter Aurora Age of Desolation. The other links will be to Shifting Lands for your brick jig, Wayne's Workshop for the smoke machine, your comic boards you can pick up from Terrain Tronics. Also, check him out on YouTube. Firelight Fables, TWC10 at checkout, gets you 10% off your order and a little kickback comes to me, as well as all the Amazon links you can think of. Now for my next video, I'm gonna have, it's gonna be a series. I'm really excited for it. I've already started working on it. So let's just say you should like and subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Also consider following me over on Patreon. I've got a bunch of different tiers for you to check out, as well as one of them, The Coven, which will let you hang out with me at night live right here while I'm crafting and making these videos. All right, until next time, I'll see you around.